One of our comedian friends is launching a new monthly show. The first one happens tomorrow night. We've got Amanda Neal here to tell us about That's the right. Squeeze Box Comedy Jam. Welcome. Squeeze. This is cool. Yeah, thank you for having me, as always. Um, give us an overview. The Squeeze Box Comedy Jam, this is a monthly showcase. Yes, monthly showcase. Uh, so we have three featuring comedians. Mm -hmm. uh, they'll do about 15 minutes each. We have a live instrumental space funk band uh, known as Quasi special. Quasar. They're amazing. If you haven't checked them out, it's a good time to come see them. Um, and then we do, uh, we have opportunities for a bucket pool. So mm -hmm. if you're get interested, you know, if, yes. you, if you want to shoot your shot with comedy, you can throw your name in the bucket and possibly get pulled to do a three minute set. Anything can happen when, Anything when, that's, can when happen. that's out there. Um, and it's at Jack and Diane. So we'll get Jack to those details Diane's, in yes. a second. We're really cool. Um, and for people interested in performing, um, you know, on that bucket pool, yeah. Are there nights when nobody puts their name in? Nights when everybody we does? We can see. We've had a pretty, uh, this will be our third show, just our first one at the new yeah. location. Uh, so we've had a pretty successful turnout among comedians, yeah. uh, which is, you know, fuels our community and keeps the scene flowing. I think we just admire it because it's such an intimidating thought <laughs> to get out there and do what you do. Um, so we'll have that information soon. Absolutely. But you're especially amused, you know, on this Halloween. Yes. Um, we were talking about this. You, jump jump scares. That's what gets jump you on Halloween. Jump scares. Oh, my gosh. They're the best. Yeah. Like, nothing thing is more hilarious than terrifying both children and adults yeah. you know my friend she has this this like skeleton in her house and when you walk in it starts making noises and goes crazy and we purposely set it up yeah and, and you have those out there and you're still not used to it yourself if you <laughs> yeah, have one exactly. um, the werewolf outside my house scares yeah. me daily I, exactly. I can't say I'm gonna miss him so um but at least you know you've said that this night would end the spooky season how yeah. it'll be behind us so that'd oh be good. no this is only the beginning of spooky season because that's when the seasonal depression kicks in. Yeah. You could do an act about Halloween, and that's kind of, you know, you yeah. play around here. This isn't the, the venue too much for uh, station stand up yeah. comedy inside Although the studio. Although you're an excellent audience. Margaret, well, I'm, I'm just having fun. I'm glad you're here to entertain <laughs> us all. Um, you talk about homemade costumes, and oh. this is a subject near and dear to a lot of people's Absolutely. hearts. You're a big fan of these. Huge fan, yeah. I've had some really fun costumes. Uh, so growing up, we were never allowed to do like anything that wasn't. Uh, Alive or unalive, we were not allowed to be. Oh, like, see, we're going to be creepy stuff. Yeah, we were never allowed to. So we got creative. Um, that's me in a glow stick figure costume. <laughs> that looks like a most um, excellent night. What was that like? Uh, that was a good time. Uh, so I saw an uh, instrumental <laughs> funk band called Lettuce uh, uh -huh. the other night in Asheville. And they and saw you too. They did. I actually ended up talking to two of the musicians without knowing that it was them. And I there felt like a total silly person, uh, but they were like, "Hey, great costume!" And I was like, "Wow!" And you're like, "Good." I duct taped here yeah. and here, and it's been falling off me <laughs> all night, all night long. It, but it's yeah. worth it, isn't that the it thing? Is. But when it comes to a homemade costume, there's a little bit of pride knowing that the thing you wrangled together yeah. just so pulls much it pride. off. A hundred percent. One year I was like a bunch of grapes, which was a good time too. Were you really? You just like blow a bunch of balloons and stick them to your body. I have a picture for you from my <laughs> college. There were green grapes. I had to ride on all fours See? anywhere I went. It was a shirt covered with balloons. <laughs> we have fun though. That's that's the thing. Anything exactly. else about Halloween that just makes this a special time of year? 100%. You get that, uh, a lot of personalities come yeah, out, right? a lot of personalities. And I think, what, we just had a full moon last night. Mm -hmm. So this should be an interesting Halloween. It, it is interesting. <laughs> um, I just love, I don't know if you saw Ava's costume. Yes, the charcuterie. Um, going as a charcuterie That's board. Amazing. You know, there's, there's a lot of fabulously <laughs> lovely costumes out there. But if you can pull exactly. off charcuterie board, grapes. Yeah, for me it was the 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 baguette hair yeah, yeah. accessory we're, she had going we'll on. i to check in with her. <laughs> but uh, Amanda, we are excited about your, your new series, and we yes. appreciate you coming on and having some Halloween fun for with us. For sure. Oh. It's my pleasure. Thanks for having me, and I hope everybody comes out to Squeezebox yeah. Comedy Jam tomorrow at Jack and Diane's. There it is. We'll put that information on screen. Awesome. It's the first Squeezebox Comedy Jam, Jack and Diane's on North Brown Street tomorrow. The show is 21 and up. Yes. It starts at 8 p.m. Doors open at 7 and sign ups for that bucket poll if you mm. dare. It's a lot of bravery. Uh, 7.30 tickets are $10 on Eventbrite or at the door. We've got a link on accesscarolina.com with all that.